Today I'm back to identify more one plus one situations that are happening that maybe we should change for a better Gambia tomorrow. Today I want to talk to you about the constitution. There's uh, been a lot of talk during the constitutional review process uh, which ended up in rejecting the constitution and I think now they're trying to revive it. I have some skeptical friends who think that they're only doing it because the EU is pressuring them and they might need money from the EU to carry out whatever it is that they do, their programs. I was chastised by my um, co-studios, Mr. Baba Bojang, last week that I spent 30 minutes talking and he didn't have enough time to translate everything in Mandinka. So today what I want to do is to be speaking for a bit and allowing him to translate before I proceed. Mr. Baba, over to you. Anyway, chapter 4, section 27 of the 1997 constitution says, Men and women of full age and capacity shall have the right to marry and found a family. Marriage shall be based on the free and full consent of the intended parties. Chapter 6 of the now cancelled constitution says a man and a woman of full age and capacity have the right to marry and found a family and such marriage shall be based on the free and full consent of the man and the woman so this comes in the backdrop of um, people complaining that they are trying to impose on us gay rights. I want to argue that the constitution as it is has already allowed gays to get married. Okay, so um, the existing constitution, men and women of full age and capacity shall have the right to marry and found a family. Then in the second uh, chapter where it says, marriage shall be based on the free and full consent of the intended parties. Well, parties is an ambiguous word. The parties could be both male, both female, or one man and one woman. So, in my layman's reading of the current constitution, gay marriage is allowed. I so 
So they try to change that, they try to correct that, it's a bit too ambiguous. They wanted to make it more explicit. We move to the new constitution now, chapter 6, part 2, section 54. A man and a woman of full age and capacity have the right to marry and found a family. And such marriage shall be based on the free and full consent of the man and the woman. So, guy, tejon nay pa bo buno no wai kung ka vote in constitution bo buno no pa ba ang ibu bintay gays can be married. The man and the woman, guy then change parties into the man and the woman. So it's clearer now. It's more distinct. It's between a man and a woman. But this is not the constitution we are operating on. So I guess gays can come here and apply to get married. I hope so. I don't know. My Mandinka is very bad. <laughs> uh, so, the new constitution would have shut that down for gay people, but thankfully that constitution is not in yet. I guess what they are telling us is they are happy to have gays come and get married here. Um, but in a bid to try and shut it down, <laughs> they shut themselves down. Because if I read it like a man and a woman, one man and one woman of full age and capacity have the right to marry, found a family, and such marriage shall be based on free, on free and full consent of the man and the woman. One man, one woman. If they had passed this constitution, then I believe that all polygamous marriages would have been null and void because it's now only a man and a woman that can get married. Everybody that has more than one wife, everybody with two wives would be illegal. I wonder how they would have dealt with that. Yeah, polygamy would have been illegal. A man and a woman. <laughs> No, it's in the new one, so it's not passed. So they are, they are fine. The polygamous people can keep their two and three wives. So I want to tell you, you put up no more people to the end of the community. I also saw that in chapter 2, section 4, it says this constitution is the supreme law of the Gambia and any other law found to be inconsistent with any provisions of this constitution shall to the extent of the inconsistency be void. Which means that when Yaya Jame put in the laws to, I think it was to ban gays or something like that, that goes against the constitution, which means that that law should be, to the extent of the inconsistency, void. Yeah, yeah, I'm not time to go on law affair again, you know. For now, then I'm going to have to confirm the next time to know it and then clarify it. Why am I not going to have the constitution? Why would there be an affair? Go to the law, you want to say. According to Lee Lunch Bibinda, any law go ham ne defo ute ak loa e constitution bi, kon constitution ba de ganya. Nen du bure dutch, constitution bi dutch la. Yenen loa e yep a yenen len. Constitution bi mun na touch loa e yonon yep, 
Kamen tadi ni kalau orang kami watch tu dunia kami yang yang baru lah. Apa try kan ni untuk kita kini kita umsun umsun sekolah ni bayar ni jam. Kalau dua aku kau nak faham dua masa sembuh tu nak faham orang nak faham. Apa nak kau dengan orang yang mana? Ani dua aku kau mata. Kalau dah jadi kami sisi keluar ni aku berorot ni aku nak kira orang. Tahu apa orang kau pun juga kau. So ala kau tu is ni dua aku kau video dua yang ni aku kau ni faham ni kata orang ni kau dah ni orang ni kau. So, I mean, it was just funny to me that I was reading that and I came across that and that's my interpretation. I might be wrong. Everybody can make mistakes. But tonight what I want to discuss with you is the changes that I think our constitution should be when they get around to, do it, to doing it. I think that it should not even be two terms, it should be just one term. It's not about the individual, it's about the institutions. We have seen in Guinea, in Ivory Coast, in other places, I believe Burundi is one of them, where they had two terms to start with. And after 10 years, the incumbent has been able to try and twist the law to try and continue staying. Politicians are funny people, and power corrupts. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. If we allow them to stay for two terms, they will continue for a third and a fourth and God knows how many more terms. I am proposing that every president should only have one term and move on. There are two million Gambians, there's enough candidates to occupy the office after every five years. It was a gentleman's agreement. As I just told you, the constitution is the supreme law of the land. Any other law, if it's inconsistent, is null and void. So, nyom, bugay di to the forms and coalition. We pull gini ya jamen. Nyone okay, three years le nyoto. Lolo wakan lo one like I wahi harita biyo you know. Lolo dumu na upo dole constitution ni. So, guy three years just na bugay joge ni no de nyo strike li la de nyo koge ni by force. My whole guy de ready was ni boy. Okay, so bugay to constitution bi mo ko may five years, do three years la ko joge ni. So bugay to leg yen dolong ko mo na force. Te kis na nyo do fum aga. Kami tadi walang kami ng presidente mo na na yan na masi ni ko ni sani sa mga wisila. Isi tali pa di mga di mga di mga di mga ikakaga. Kami ng gentleman ang di mga di mga di mga masi ni ako. So, one of the president of the 
So, Mr. Baroto Greg, no opinion check. Yeah, but no, no. Movie party book on NPP. If I was Mr. Baro, I'll do the same thing because Monday night talk is a very time boom tanga. You go and you're in Tahoe, you're in your banya Tahoe. You take the physic firing squad, you pull not a how. Marriage and a ganya. He lay in a jogger. Avala, you talk. No, Montavidina Bandi, Gene Patibova, Nyamina Nyo, Mufoga, Kerjer Ganyo, Mufoga. Gangi complained, no, how is the guy spent? Mama can de sample the fun of I ten a you, you know, I bow hole a you, you know, me I prove land. It's all. The same, one plus one. <laughs> So, if it was one term, it would be useless for him to form NPP. If it was one term, it would be useless for him to be making political appointments. If it was one term, it would be useless for people to complain that ah, they are taking pot's money and building a, po uh, a police station or something like that in his village. All these things are possible because there is potential to sit and because we still have the old constitution to sit Abadan. Gambia is in problem with the Fabri, the Fabri. I'm not here now. I'm not here. I'm full staff. Senior Gambia, I'm full. You must have seen that I'm full. Buga them. Do you want to talk? I'm going to be at the same time. I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk. Because some painful things have to come. If a president has one term and he doesn't have a second term, he can implement those painful things to move the country forward. Why? I'm in terms from Nekani. We don't put terms, sir. Two terms, then don't work. Why don't we want term? I propose you have to go one term. My second proposal is that a coalition should be a legal entity. Why don't we say that to run the government you need a majority of 80% or 90% and you can only vote once for parliamentary election. There is no second, ter second term or anything like that when nobody has the majority. So voting is here. We have to vote for the government. We have to vote for the 80% to guide the need to run the government. They have a coalition, it's a legal coalition. Um, you talk to other parties and try to form. You have 10% and 20%. You have 50% and 80%. Which means that you have to vote for the government. Wow. If any one of those parties pull out of that coalition, you no longer have that 80% majority. You need to go back to elections. So, this is the kind of coalition that we should have. One that, is pro one that is protected 
legally so that the president cannot just get up and fire different people from his coalition and proceed as usual. I would like to see a government where APRC, UDP, and DOI are all part of the government. So, a legal entity, right? Legal entity. Yes, because of I'm saying 80, maybe even 90. You I want to involve as many parties as possible Omar, Omar, in the government. And also, for the need, at least 80% of the voters for police are coming. Not to become president, to run government, to be in national assembly. Oh, okay. to run, uh, so what I'm saying is if if three or four or five parties have to come together to form a legal coalition and one of the parties irritates the other party and they say we are going, they no longer have a majority. So either you nehal kokununu or you dare word election. It should not be winners winner takes all. From Nekani winner takes all. But if you am sit more more muna call any law going on. But maybe if you said like the constitution, seventy five percent la guy need on full pass constitution but the guy I mean percentage bobu non. So then everything should be like seventy five percent, then it's more inclusive. But he didn't see amwa. So I am saying that if we had a coalition which needed a high percentage, then the different political parties would have to talk to each other to come up with some kind of compromise. I would really like to see a government with DOI and APRC and UDP all together. They can do one of them. So everybody will have to talk and compromise, you said Nikola Modem. Because one of the other problems we have, at least in Gambia, I don't know whether it's in Africa. Um, Every new administration that comes will rubbish the existing administration or the past administration's achievements. No, I will make it correct. So, if you have a new one, you defeat it. If you have a new one, you will be able to do it. I will make it correct. If the New York, New York, National Assembly is a coalition of 80 or so percent, then there is more people involved in every decision that's being made in the country. Do just one party winner takes all. I mean that you are not doing what you are supposed to do. You are not doing what you are supposed to do. You have to come together. You stick a very legal entity, and then also you need to be more agile. It is not only about getting the people together. You need to be more agile. Because of bamboo do work. Because of you coming, for example, you administration be more organized. You are not doing what you are supposed to do. Or what you are doing is not doing what you are supposed to do. Yes, people, that's all we have time for today. But the story is let's have one term for president and let's have a legal coalition that needs a high percentage to run like 80 percent or 90 percent so there's more involvement thank you very much we will come next thursday